Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you the basics of socket programming in Java. And you've probably heard of this term before, but it's just a fancy way of saying you connect devices using their network location, meaning an IP address and a TCP port. So you directly connect the devices to a socket and you can view that connection as a tunnel where devices are on the ends of that tunnel and they communicate. Hopefully that makes it clear for you, but if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to ask me in the comments. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my project set up here. So I'm in Eclipse, I've created a new project and uh, one package that contains the client application and the server application. I already have the code and I will go line by line. It's not, it's not a long code for client nor for the server. I will go line by line to explain every single line so you get the full clarification. And I've also included comments if you would like to read the code yourself. You can always access this code on my GitHub or you can check my Instagram and see the code there. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we'll be creating is a client. Basically, the client is you, is a person using the program and the server is just, is just used to, to process the data and to send it again somewhere else. So we create a new Java class called client and we import uh, java.net and java.input-output. Uh, In the first line here, we initialize or we don't initialize, but we just, we just declare our socket uh, variable. And it's like a tunnel, like, like I said, it's a tunnel that we will use to communicate between the client and the server. And you can, you can read these comments for a better understanding, but basically we'll just take the input from the user and send it to the socket. And then using that same socket, we will retrieve that data and display it on our server. The next thing we are declaring are the input and the output data stream. We will use them to transfer the data to the server and from the client to the server. And the next block of code is a constructor and it takes an address and a port, uh, IP address and a port. So basically we create a client object with the specific address and the specific port. The first thing we do here is we try to establish our connection, but some errors can happen. So we provide a try catch block. In the try block, we create a socket with the given information that we provided in our constructor. And once we create the socket, we have been connected, but not to the server. Rather, we have been connected to the socket. The next thing we do is we just ready our input stream with the new buffer reader. In earlier versions of Java, we just used our input stream reader, but some methods have been changed and now we have to use the buffer reader, but it's basically the same thing. And we ready our output stream because we will use it to send it to our server. And now here's our catch block where we catch our exceptions. And then we come here after we have finished the try catch block. In here, we initialize our string called line, which will represent a single line entered by the user. And we'll keep using, uh, we'll keep entering the words line by line or sentences line by line until we enter stop and then we'll stop. Again, we need to use the try catch block because we are working with data streams and we will save the line inside the input, input.readLine. And we will transfer it to our server using our output data stream, as you can see here. So reads the line from the keyboard and then writes it to the output stream. And now we just need to collect the data from the socket on our server. 
After that, we just close the connection and don't worry about this here. Uh, this, th this code runs when we start the program. So basically that's it. We create our socket, we connect to the socket, we send in some data and now we just have to collect it with our server. Now I have switched to my server application and we will now program the server. Again, we import java.net and java.input-output because those are, those are the basic classes we use when we work with client and server applications in Java. Again, we need a socket because we need to connect to the same socket and collect the data. Then we use these two variables to collect the data. And here comes the constructor. Inside the constructor, we just need the port because uh, we connect to that one port. We do not care about the IP address. And in the try block, we start our server and wait for a connection. So here we create a server and here we wait for the connection. As you will see when we demonstrate the program, this stops the program until a client connects to the server. Once the client has been connected to the server, we just take the data that um, we sent as a client, we just take the data and we edit it in here. We read it line by line, as you can see here in our while block, until line equals stop. When line equals stop, we stop the while block and we stop our program. So we'll send some different kinds of messages and once the server detects that we have sent a stop message, we stop and close the connection. Basically, this is just a simple server that's wait, that waits for the client to connect and then just edits the data the way we wanted it to. We can do all sorts of things, but we have decided to do print it on screen until a user sends a stop message. This is really simple, but this is how messaging apps work. A client connects to the server, it sends messages, then the server processes those messages and sends it to another client. And in here, we just create our server object and connect to the port 6666 and in here we use the default IP address and the same port because we want to connect to the same port. That is basically it of basic client and server Java programming using sockets. Now we'll demonstrate the program so you can actually see how it works. So inside the Eclipse you want to open two console views like I have here. So this one over here and this one over here. And first you want to run the server. So you run the server and the server says waiting for a client. This is this line over here. So we are waiting for the client to connect. And now we come to the client app and we run it. And as you can see here, this is our server application. Server started waiting for the client, client accepted. And now inside of here, we will just switch to our client app. And now we can write some messages like hi. And as you can see, the server displays that message. Once again, we go to the client application and we can write, hey. And as you can see, the server displays it here. But what happens if we go to our client application and we write stop? We stop the program and the server says, closing connection and we terminate the program. This is basically a simple chat app, but you can only talk to the server. It's not really fun, is it? But it's the basics and it's good to start here. That is it for today's video. If you have any questions about socket programming in Java, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you're looking for this code, you can find the source code on my GitHub. All links will be in the description. And that's it. Have a nice day. See you.